And in respect, Wrangling in the blue gloves, Gracie in the red. They share one common opponent, Hank Grace veteran Yuki Kondo. Not surprisingly, Gracie submitted him via rear naked choke, while Wrangling defeated him via form of knockout. Gracie's looking a lot more relaxed than I thought he'd be on that stand-up. Yeah, he looks, he looks focused. He looks like he's got a little bit of rhythm moving, don't you, Frank? Yeah, I mean, he's a little stiff and long, but he, I think he's a long guy anyway. He looks uh, very surprised at the, at the comfort of his shoulders right now. In preparation for this bout, Gracie did work with UFC welterweight champion George St. Pierre on working on using strikes to set up takedowns. Not necessarily working on uh, the striking aspect, but what he can do to set up the takedowns using the strikes that probably will be uh, something to look for in this fight. Absolutely. First punch was from Trevor, barely touched him. There's that height of uh, Gracie coming in. That's going to be hard to get up there and hit him. Brangley, I think, needs to move his head, slide on the inside, make, make Gracie miss with a punch, and then throw. Well, Gracie's got that shoulder up like a boxer. That's real nice. That left shoulder push forward, real clean stance. inside kick he was doing uh, to Brangley. I think you should go back to that. Well, he's, he's doing a good job with the jab. He's using a few fakes and feints. Uh, he's going to do a little bit more of that. Keep Brangley guessing. Brangley was very relaxed at the fighter meeting, showcasing uh, his sense of humor, saying he knows all about uh, Gracie's submission skills. He says he has a glass neck, so he's going to try to avoid the chokes in this fight. And already, Gracie now standing on triangle bracks, looking to switch up with Brangley, a couple of Muay Thai knee strikes. Brangley was smiling at him after that. Take down by Gracie. Beautiful trip. Brangley's got to start popping him hips. He's got to fight to get up. If he stays on the ground, it's a bad night. Brangley rated the training camp for this fight an 8 out of 10. He sparred with the 6'3 and a half Kyle Kingsbury to replicate Gracie's size. Also worked submissions with Luke Rockhold. A strike force middleweight who was good on the shelf due to injury who we expect to return hopefully in March in Columbus, Ohio. Look at how Gracie's controlling Brangley's legs. He's trying to tighten in on him, squeeze him and pinch him. Brangley can't move his hips. Now he's trying to pull that post arm out from underneath Brangley to get him down. It's a gradual thing. If you move too quick, your opponent jumps up to his feet, wall walks right up and you lose. Him. Gracie's just inching along. Gracie mentioned that he would like to fight two to three times per year. The last time we saw him was in his Strike Force debut against Kevin Randleman last May when he defeated the former UFC heavyweight champion via rear naked choke. He's also still very active on the grappling circuit. Pat, I'm wondering. Can you do both if you want to be a world-class mixed martial artist? I think it only helps you. I mean, I know a lot of guys that have, have competed in kickboxing matches, boxing matches, and grappling matches. They'll even go to wrestling tournaments just to keep themselves sharp. Very bad position right here. The mount. Arm bars already set up for a side. Oh, he doesn't have the arm across. Oh, good. Minute and a half remaining in the opening round. A position that Trevor Prangley most definitely does not want to be in against a guy with the grappling pedigree of Hunter Gracie, but frankly, the veteran using the cage for speed, and now okay. Bradley going for that rear naked choke, looking to test that glass neck of Bradley, and Bradley so eloquently put it. We did that nice bridge off the cage, and I thought he was getting out, but... Uh, Gracie just threw his hips right around, put him yeah. in a bad position. Amazing hip control by Gracie. He spun around him. That, that was incredible. And very methodical. Very patient. Now he's got the figure four leg lock on the body. body triangle. The body triangle was outlawed in wrestling because it suffocates people. Right. I was going to say, you know how that feels. That literally sucks the life out of you. 